the commitment, I mean, I can commit to, I can commit to you, I can commit to the neighbor, it doesn't matter. Uh, the power of commitment to yourself is probably the most powerful because you don't want to disappoint yourself. And um, you know, if you use the right words and commit to it, that's got a lot of power. It's just a struggle. I hate this. I hate it every moment, every minute of it. But but then again, in like moments like this too, you think to yourself, you know, I'm healthy enough. I'm blessed to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I only know this might be the day that you cannot, for whatever reason, Rona or not. Right. <laughs> no, seriously, though, no. it's just the fact that you might be either sick or. And those moments where you wish you had all it, all of it together, all of your health to do so, and I mean, just just goes out for life. Life mm -hmm. is the same way. Like when it's like the moment is right here, right now. It's not later when you have all of this circumstance together, which you will never have. So, so you have it right now. Make use of what, what you got and be blessed for it. Because I remember when I had the thyroid, I couldn't do it because. I, there was only so much I could do, and then it was the surgery, then it was this, then it was that. So mm -hmm. right now, in those moments, I, I just feel blessed. So that pushes me to press harder or lift harder or challenge myself because I know I can't. The only thing that is stopping me is my mind. So that's the commitment to yourself, and you say you're going to do it, so you better honor yourself so you don't, you don't disappoint yourself. So it helps to have a partner, too.